Hey guys, this is Jeff with djwebsitedesign.com. Uh, here we're going to just show you some of the basic features of the WordPress backend that we've customized. Um, here, um, this is my own website actually. Uh, it's still on a development server. I just wanted to use it so uh, we could demo it without breaking a, a current client's website. So you can, as you can see here, um, you know we have a homepage slider here. And uh, if I were to refresh the page, this is going to be an automatic slider. Um, so the, the concept of the home page is just really to get that vivid imagery. Uh, here we have a blog feed from recent blog posts, um, a content area here that's very important for SEO. And then uh, we have what we call uh, these DJ widgets that we've developed. So um, this will link to a page here. Uh, we have a video light box. So if you click here, you're automatically going to get a video popping up. Um, we have the availability checker integrated here. We have some social media links. Uh, we have the DJ Intelligence uh, link to the client login here. Uh, link to the blog here. Just looking at a blog. Um, and then we also have photo gallery that we have in here. I and mean, again, this is light box effect, and this is all controllable uh, through the back end. So yeah, um, let me show you the back end here. We have opening a new tab. This is a WordPress. This is actually built on the 3.0 beta. We were building this before 3.0 came out, but uh, essentially it's still the exact same thing. Um, and really, uh, I guess we'll just show you the pages here. So you can see here, this is the you know hierarchy of pages. So if we want to edit content, let's say we want to edit the text on the home page here. Uh, we'll go into the WYSIWYG editor. And then here we could just add some add some text. This is sample text for the video demo. Okay. Hit update. And then uh, go back to the page here. Hit refresh. And uh, there you have it. There's the text right there. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll delete this once here. And then also here, you can see uh, we have these custom fields based on the home page design. We'll set up some custom fields so you can edit other areas besides just the content area. Uh, here you can see the stylish and fresh, which is uh, reflected right here on the page. And then we can edit this content too, which is right here. Um, and this is where we define all the home page sliders, all of these images here. Uh, very easy to do as well. Um, so yeah, again, uh, the WordPress backend, um, we've customized it so uh, you can really control all the elements on your pages. And uh, if we want to add a new page, it's literally as easy as going to add new page here. And test page. Sample text. If we want to upload a photo for this page, uh, we can just add an image here. If we want to upload a PDF to link to, we can do that as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to put this test page, and uh, we select where we want to show up the navigation. So we can have it show up top level, um, but in this case, we're just going to uh, put it under the About Us page. So we select the parent as an About Us. Um, if you're going to have different layouts on each page, we can select different templates um, that we'll pre-design for you. So then we'll hit Publish. And there we have it, the test page right here, published, um, the navigation automatically updates. Uh, we have some sample text there. And then uh, in the menu, we can uh, define where we want to show up here. So let's find this test page here. And test page. And now uh, we can actually have this one show up in the top level navigation if we'd want to change it there as well. And we can also define the order here of where we want to show up um, under the about, uh, but we'll leave that for a separate video. 
Um, so yeah, that's just the quick overview of the back end here. We'll make some more detailed videos, um, specifically showing some of these widgets, how to control the footer text, how to add the blog post feed on your homepage.